Haha. -ha. The Berserk Mask is now who's this? And yes, that's basically one of the only reasons I went there now. It's because that Berserk Mask, I looked at it, I was like, ah, at first I was like, eh, that healing receive is pretty crap, but I like the crit, and I love the speed. Okay, we got one level three. Picard went up to level three. A surprise Ponceval didn't. That's really bad. That's fine. That's not really good on a Houndmaster. That's fine. That's really good. That's not really good, but it's not terrible, and that's fine. A lot of... bit of a mixed bag with the quirks today, but yay, another boss is dead! In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. That's nice, but not really relevant to the situation at hand, Grandpapa. Let's see. So I didn't get a whole hell of a lot of money, and I spent about 10,000 gold in weapons and equipment. Yep. But at least now, we're almost ready to go into the level 3 dungeons. In fact, I think we have to go into level 3 dungeons now, because we have a majority of level 3s, I think. Okay, so maybe not a majority of level 3s, it just feels like a majority of level 3s. I have a lot of level 3s. And now they want me to go and try and kill another boss. Two bosses. A hag. And the Necromancer. So I assume that means they have higher health, more damage, things of that nature. Plus 15% damage, 30% bleed skill chance. Hmm. That's a long dungeon. Not sure how I want to try and go in a long dungeon. I don't really want to try and kill a boss. My first champ, my first... Was this champ veteran? That's champ veteran, All right. On my first veteran run. Almost a champion. I don't think that's... Three crit if in position one, 33 healing skills. Who the hell uses a crusader to heal? It's beyond me. 25 minus 25. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I really don't want to go to to the Warrens level three long, but I don't really want to go to short either. I don't really want to try and kill a boss. So I guess either try and do the corrupted altars and get something I don't really want, or go into a short dungeon, or go try and go in a very long dungeon. If I want to do level 3s. Otherwise, it's... crap. I got, I got crap for choices, otherwise. So if I was going to go, I'd probably... I wasn't planning on putting you there, jackass. I was planning on putting you in here. I know I couldn't even choose them if I didn't have the thing, but apparently I cannot. So now we get our choice of our... Oh, wow. You have a lot of bad things, but not a whole lot of terrible things except Fingophobia. Which is kind of bad, anyway. Holy crap, Dema, You are a superstar in this group, apparently. I don't know if I want to send Demal first, because I don't know how bad level 3 dungeons are, and I don't really want to lose them. <laughs> We're going to the Warrens. He should be fine there. So, yeah, Omond. Him. Possibly you. Even though you're more of, any, of a Wailed girl, not a Warrens girl. As is Oman looking at it. You could go. I don't want you to, but you could. Everybody loves the Weld. No one likes the Warrens. There's no love for the Warrens in this group, is there? No, at least there's you, Plucknut. Our age old Houndmaster that's never gives up. I could send Hodeen, but she has really bad, really bad, bad things on her. She's my only healer at level 3 as well, so I kind of have to do that. And then... I guess I could send her. She's kind of cool, except she's not really useful with the poison darts. I could send... Alright, Ponceval didn't actually level. Anyway, we could do this, but I don't know where we're going. Don't take that as we're going there. But that's an idea. Anybody new on the stagecoach? We got no level ones. 
I get you, I just got a man at arms. I'm not really looking for anybody except possibly you, and you have really bad quirk, so you're not being on my team. <laughs> That's nice, but I don't really go to the cove with a leper in the first place. The Warrens, yes, I would. That's really bad. Of course, in the Warrens, that's very bad. You like... No. <laughs> Wowee. And there are not many people start with more negatives than they do positives and hope to get anywhere in life. Again, not many people do that. You're actually pretty good, Boneth. Oh, well, I'm just taking a quick glance at what we got in there. So, we got some deeds. Uh, we do have enough to upgrade the furnace again, which again would really help my spending on that, but I think I'm going to hold off, get ten more, and go for the next rank of weaponsmithing. Though, thinking about it, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, because I have to have someone who resolve level four to take advantage of that. So, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. Not at all. I'll think about it, though. I think the only place I can really use deeds are... Well, not there. I don't know why I keep thinking there. I think here he's using Cress. I think this uses... No, that uses that stuff. <laughs> what in the hell uses deeds? Am I almost done with deeds? Alright. The... I guess I almost am for the time being, so I could use them for the other things, but I'll leave that for next time as well. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you with the Brigandate Pounder. If you want my advice on that fight, looking back on it now, I would bring a group who can hit anywhere in the party for at least 8 to 12 damage, which usually means a Houndmaster, a Arbal an Arbalist, Maybe a Highwayman. Uh, Hellion's great there. I would not take a Leper. Mainly just because he, he could take out the big dual-wielding dude and maybe do, put some solid damage on the cannon, but... Yeah, he's not going to be able to hit the three and four spots back there, which you really need to be able to do to hit that Matchman. Because I imagine if that Matchman had ever gotten a turn, he would have lit the fuse and just blown the crap out of us and probably one or two hits. I don't know if that's the way that fight works, but I'm just imagining logically that's the way it probably worked. Now, veteran like grave robbers could work if you use the throne dagger because that can that's a pretty high crit a pretty high crit chance. And if you upgrade your weapons, it does pretty good damage. So, you know that class would work as well. And basically, the classes to avoid would be crusader in my eyes, leper. Is there any more that I would really recommend against? Yeah, Bounty Hunter's not... Bounty Hunter's like right in the middle. He does have some... He does have finishing, which you can hit in the third slot, but cannot hit in the fourth slot, so... Plague Doctors might not be too bad either, because if you use the Blinding Gas, you know, Plague Doctor Stun Trinket, I forget what it's called, which is, which is vile, you could maybe just stun the back two rows, and then just focus your... your fo you focus your fire on the boss, or maybe you can kill the big dual-wielding dude up front, but, I mean... Just mix and match and do what you want. Uh, something else you might want to do. I don't know if this would work. Please do not try this and expect it to work and blame me if it doesn't. This is along the lines of the Sonner's Prophet. Maybe if you use Weakening Curse on that cannon two or three times and then just ignored everything else and just tried to kill the cannon, letting the matchman light it, I don't know how much damage it would do. It might not do a whole lot of damage, but I don't know that. And plus the other three would probably eat you alive. The, the Fusilier and the the cutthroat, but I, I'm just throwing out ideas for people out there who never really thought about it much. I mean, I got through it. It was a bit messy, but I got through it, so I'm happy. But yes, now I actually will say goodbye, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone. Until then.